All right, if everything's working, uh, we have a functioning device, it seems like. Anyway, um, so this uh, setup has a bipolar membrane uh, with two uh, reservoirs on either side. And right next to the bipolar membrane, there's two electrodes with graphitic carbon nitride, which is an excellent catalyst. Unfortunately, it's also a photocatalyst, so it's in this black box so that no appreciable light gets to it. So, um, yeah, that uh, graphitic carbon nitride should be a good enough catalyst to uh, get some uh, electrical energy out of the pH difference. So, what we have here, uh, this thing's been freshly removed from water, we'll check back uh, because drying and evaporation can produce a voltage too. But this is an interesting preliminary result. So here also, this is freshly cleaned silver. This was soaking in DI water for a while and then we dried it out. And so we have two uh, carbon leads with fr uh, freshly cleaned silver. And these contacts I think are gold, but I'm using the silver to keep them away uh, from the carbon just in case the carbon is still damp, uh, because that can produce a voltage too. So now we see here there's a, there's a, a steady state voltage of 0.16 millivolts. It's not much, but it's consistent. So now if we short this, you can see it comes back. And I'll show you in a second, if you switch the leads, then it still comes back. You know, slowly charges up again. So this is because the pH gradient is held in the steady state by the bipolar membrane. And the electrode potential of the graphitic carbon nitride is changing as a function of pH. So, uh, Otherwise, graphitic carbon nit nitride, it's catalytic, but it's very unreactive. The salt solution that we're using here is very dilute sodium hydroxide. So, anyway, there you have it. it uh, you short it out, it recharges. Um, I'll let it go for a minute to see if it gets all the way back. It kind of slows down around uh, 1.6. It can go up as high as uh, as 0.2, but that takes forever, so uh, I'm not doing that today. Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, it's almost back up there. Just waiting a little longer. Let's see if it'll, will it go up all the way at one point, so point, point 0.16. Looking likely. As you can tell, it's a very tiny amount of electric power. But it is persistent. There you go. So now, um, let's swap these. Just to show the system I have is within a reasonable calibration. Yeah, so like the calibration of this machine would be something around 0.005 millivolts or so. So yeah, this is that's real power. Let's short it again. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is it has this system has flowback channels. So uh, there's actually small holes drilled in the bipolar membrane, and those holes um, allow a backflow of electrons through the system uh, or the, uh, sorry, a backflow of ions through the system to compensate for the flow of electrons produced. My bad. Anyway, there you go. And yeah, it's already up to uh, negative point one three. And so I, yeah, I swapped the lead. So of course it should go up to negative point one six. Anyway, we've removed all sorts of sources of error and now it's quite a bit more repeatable. So that's exciting.
I'm just going to tap it again. Still goes up, same direction. There's no chemical energy there. This thing has been soaking in dilute sodium hydroxide for like a month at this point. Um, so it has had plenty of time to fully equilibrate. We've checked it for leaks. Um, the carbon fabric in the past has leaked, but now we have figured out a way to completely seal, hermetically seal the carbon fabric in a silicone. Uh, you have to reduce the viscosity of silicone with uh, mineral oil and then evaporate off the mineral oil. Um, but yeah, and all the, all the materials, all the PETG, uh, the bipolar membrane material, everything that was used in this test was uh, soaked in dilute sodium hydroxide solution to see how it would change the pH over time and interact with the sodium ions. So let's see if we switch that one more time. Yep, positive instead of negative, same amount. That's real. And our machine has not been calibrated, calibrated super recently, but we can get a fresh calibration of this next week maybe. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, there were so many sources of error in the previous designs uh, that it would just go up and down and whatever, but now you can see it's re repeatedly the same thing every time. It's like going back up to 0.1 or 0.2 millivolts. There you go. There you have it.